All right, so I just finished setting up the finish line for the Autism Speaks 5K in Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, here in a second, I'm about to head over to registration and set up the tag check station. Uh, but I want to record a quick video for the finish line, or the finish line, so that you know if I send a timing crew next year, they can see where all the power is at, where everything sets up at, where the finish line's at, uh, and all that stuff. So uh, I got here at 4 a.m. So it took, let's see, 6:47. So, uh, you know, two hours and 45 minutes to do everything and everything except for the last few steps of that big tent I set up by myself. So obviously if you've got uh, someone else with you, uh, it should go faster. Plus, of course, I spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out exactly where everything's at and how I was going to set it up. So hopefully this video makes it to where it should be at least two and a half hours uh, if you're going to do the exact same setup. And so the good news is there's power. I mean, at every tree there's power. Uh, so you got tons of power. Uh, no, I think I've ran maybe two short extension cords, one to the results kiosk and one to the TV back there. Um, but yeah, so now of course, when the, uh, after registration, I'm going to move this over to block off this lane too, so the runners come through. Um, but yeah, so there's a results kiosk. Let me go ahead and walk over there. I think I bought this dome tent for $70 at Walmart and it's worked really well, but the problem is I can't set it up by myself. It always seems to take two people. Maybe someone's more talented than me, but... So I've already got the uh, wireless set up. Here's my wireless router. Um, got everything connected. Uh, the shared folder is on the timing computer. So the timing computer simply does a quick job of pushing the backup of the database to itself, which of course takes no time at all. And this computer does the job of pulling it over. The actual computer's back here. Um, does the job of pulling it over and it automatically refreshes. I've got the auto sync on the clock so that while I'm timing it automatically pushes updates out to here. Uh, the good news is with the kiosk you can set this up. In fact this is one of the first things I set this morning. So you can set it up. Um, in fact I'm going to make it do division results. Let's see. Okay. Uh, so I got auto scroll off. But anyways, you can set this up and have it going well before the race even starts, before anybody's registered or anything. And so, you know, when it sees finishers, it pulls the new database across, reloads athletes, reloads everything, and it's just good to go. So this is something you can set up early and just forget about. And of course, you want to have uh, most of it powered by, batter, by battery backup. The only thing not on the battery side, uh, let's see, so this is laptop, this is printer. I need to move it to the battery side. I guess in the dark I got lost there. Um, I'm not going to unplug the modem, or the, sorry, the router, because I don't want to lose that connection, but I'm going to leave it there. But anyways, most everything can put on the battery side, unless it's got an internal battery like the laptop. Uh, when I set up for a race, I always like to do the TVs like this, to where it shows the name of the race. Uh, you may see in some of my videos, I also put instructions like parking in rear or something like that. So, uh, you know, you can do that too. This is basically two TVs hooked up to one laptop, and I use a HDMI splitter to uh, duplicate the displays on two TVs. Uh, here's the power supply for the finish line. And by the way, if you were to come here to time it, uh, as soon as you come into the President Clinton uh, Library and Museum, it's the, it's the second tree uh, when you come under the bridge. But there's my camcorder right there. Uh, you see I got my antennas staggered out so that if any reason, you know, my backup reader and my two uh, antennas connected to my read main reader, if they were to miss someone, then hopefully as the runner slows down, this one will get them, and if that one misses, then uh, that one will get them. And I can even put that one even further down if I wanted to, but I, I almost never, ever, ever see anyone get this far into the finish line and finally get picked up. So that's not a really big concern. Uh, I'm going to take this laptop to the registration area. I always like to bring my manual system to do registration uh, because this one's already got the reader connected. I've already tested it. Everything's good. I've got the wireless connection with the kiosk going. So the last thing I want to do is take it out and then come back in the hope that all those things connect back up and work. So now that I've got that all connecting and working, I'm going to use a, the manual timing computer as my uh, uh, the registration computer because when it's done, all i got to do is copy the database over to here. Um, and so, you know, everything is still connected. Everything's good. Um, I like to use the lid of the tub that I brought all my equipment in as a uh, floor basically for the uh, hardware that way it's not getting dew on it or you know hopefully keeping bugs and stuff out of it and then I use the tub over there with the results kiosk so that when they scan their tags a volunteer will ask them to just dump the tags into the uh, tub and then here's my camera I've already got it to where I can see the TV that's the only reason why I put the TV there is so that the camera and camcorder whenever I upload the photos and videos can see the clock so uh, that's there can't really see through the viewfinder probably but you can see the finish line and the TV just fine. Uh, but yeah, so here's the final TV, which of course will show their name and time when they finish. So, 
But all right, well, that's the finish line. And now I'm gonna go set up to do the registration and tag tech station.